Rogers, just showing you all the great folks that are endorsing him. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Kevin in California. You're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Props. Hey, listen, uh, much respect for you, both of you. Thank You're you. both hard chargers. Uh, uh, Mr. Pittman, I have a question for you. I'm in Los Angeles County, and unfortunately, I'm with Oath Keepers, and I'm also with the CSPOA. And I've gone out here, and I've talked to the sheriffs out here, and I do not get an answer uh, to the to uh, you know to the effect that I'm looking for. Uh, I'm getting a no on that they will follow the Constitution in California at this at this location. Well, you're not uh, in America. I mean, L.A. is not America. Might as well be no, Moscow in the '70s. But yeah, go ahead. I understand that, uh, and uh, but and uh, I also. You know, uh, being with the Oath Keepers, you know, I, I served in the United States Marine Corps, and I when I separated from the Marine Corps under medical conditions, I did not hand over my oath and say that I was going to give that back. I, I hold that oath to the date, and I'm in uniform right now working on the borders of Nogal in between Nogales and Naco. As, as an Oath Keeper, and I get all good signs from the sheriffs that I work with down there. Sheriff sure, of Ohio, sure. Sheriff Bayview, everybody's giving us good, even the sheriff of Cochise County. Well, they admit half are, Arizona's under Mexican control now with the narcos. Thank you for the call. I want to give Sheriff's Deputy a chance to respond. What is your view of the Oath Keepers? Well, again, anyone who has taken that oath and uh, is going to follow it, more importantly, uh, we can absolutely not participate in any action in violation of the Constitution against the citizens of this nation, period. There are no what ifs, there's no buts. Well, we just can't do that because every time we start to negotiate those things away, we lose more and more. So I uh, commend Oath Keepers for doing that. Uh, I'm not a member of Oath Keepers, but I am an Oath Keeper also because it's my oath. I am a member of the Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association that was founded by my good friend Richard Mack. Absolutely. And again, we're doing Facebook mentions right now, some behind-the-scenes stuff coming up here in a moment. Carl Pittman, Carl for Sheriff.com, running down in Harris County. Four and a half million people in the county, not just counting the city. So the county is the fifth largest jurisdiction of people in the United States. Really exciting to see constitutionalists running and winning across the country. Uh, I want to jam in one quick call from Robert in Missouri. Uh, real quick, what's your point, sir? And then we'll get the sheriff's deputy's response. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm a former Marine, too. I was locked and loaded on a five-ton at Camp Las Polgas when the whole Rodney King went down at, at Camp Pendleton there. And so, and I and I was, uh, you know, I live a stone's throw from Ferguson. I'm here in St. Louis. They've stripped the sheriffs in my area of their powers. Now you have police chiefs in both St. Louis County. That's a great final question. Hate to cut you off, but I got to get a response. What about this federal globalist move to get rid of sheriffs and, and merge the departments? How do you get rid of of a state charter that the sheriff selected. I mean, that's insane. Well, the only, re uh, the only way that's going to happen is the legislators in your state have allowed this to happen. Uh, th that is the simple answer. Uh, the sheriff here in Texas is a constitutional office, which means it is required to exist by our state constitution. Yeah, get rid of the legislature next. <laughs> yeah, it will, whatever, but uh, I tell you what will happen. Again, we're watching this continued erosion of our country, and there are people that have some bad intentions for us. Well, it's like TPP today. and all these globalist treaties that circumvent Congress. Mm -hmm. You get rid of the sheriff, get rid of the governor, get rid of Congress. Just, just make George Soros God. Sheriff, I'm going to be supporting you for winning that. Great job. God bless you. Yes, sir. God bless you. We got you. your buddy Ted Nugent coming up here in just a moment. So thank you so much. Thank you. He's too busy even staying to have lunch. Well, he's going to run back to work down in, uh, down in Houston. We'll be right back. Well, we're ready for the wild man from Motor City down here in Texas to call in. Ted Nugent's on the road. He calling in any minute. I shot up the bat symbol yesterday and said, I want to get Ted Nugent on. And they called us last night. So he should be calling in any time. Ted Nugent on serious censorship of the Second Amendment. Censorship in media. Very, very clear. We're breaking that down uh, here in just a moment. Uh, then coming up, Franken virus emerges from Siberia's frozen wasteland. World Bank chief economist warns Fed's delay rate rise. U.S. moves to block Russian military buildup in Syria to fight ISIS. <clears throat> Simply insane. That's all coming up. The, the Ayatollah Khomeini says Israel won't survive next 25 years after getting the peace deal.
and says basically that America's the great Satan. I, I just don't get it. Uh, so that's all coming up. Uh, briefly, one of our most popular nutraceuticals is back in its knockout. It was sold out for three months. And I know why. It's 1995. A bottle of melatonin or valerian root is that much at this dosage level. This is 10 ingredients fused together to really give you restful, deep sleep, the key to so much, the key to health. And I challenge you, you're not groggy when you wake up from it, at least I'm not. <laughs> Again, it's got a 4.8 review out of five stars, un un unheard of at Power Reviews and other third-party sites at InfoWarsLife.com. So Knockout is back in stock, and your purchase helps fund this operation, the reporters and the nightly news and the satellites and all the rest of it. In our tireless defense of the Republic and the guest and the info that we promote here. So thank you. It's a win-win, high-quality products, and you support the broadcast. Uh, finally, it's back in a limited supply of liver shield to do the gallbladder cleanse. And we've got experts on how to do it. It's very easy to do a six-day cleanse where you just do liver shield by itself, and it detoxifies a lot. Infowarslife.com. That's going to sell out in the next day or two because we only got a limited supply in. It's so hard to make, to concentrate the herbs, to get the organic herbs. We have a week or two supply left, uh, depending on how it sells, of the deep cleanse that cleanses the whole body. Uh, simply amazing with all the toxins in our environment. It's so important to cleanse the body. So it is key that you continue to support the info war with the high quality products. We have a new shirt that is a bestseller. We printed some up right here in America two weeks ago. They sold out. So the truck just arrived from our factory yesterday with an even bigger order in all sizes of Hillary for prison 2016. Now, this has been going on for six months, but we just jumped on the bandwagon, made our own shirt, and uh, Joe Biggs wore his out downtown last weekend. People went crazy supporting it. Some people didn't like it. I'm going to go downtown the next few days wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt as well. On the back, it says Legalize Freedom, Infowars.com. So it is certainly a game changer. Now, joining us... Joining us via the telephone is the one, the only NRA board member, uh, multi-platinum artist, the Motor City Madman, transplanted down here to Texas, and we love it. Uh, that's Ted Nugent. And we just had on Deputy Pittman, uh, who he's endorsed for sheriff down in Harris County, uh, on with us as we fight to take back our local governments and to defend the Second Amendment. But the reason Ted Nugent is joining us, tednugent.com, is I was aware of this a few years ago, but I wasn't aware of how widespread it was. I, I have a lot of friends with History Channel and Discovery Channel shows. I myself host several shows on History Channel and Discovery Channel dealing with Unsolved Mysteries, America's Book of Secrets. Uh, I've been a guest host of uh, Brad Metzler's show uh, on America's Secrets as well. I mean, I'm on currently five shows on History and Discovery. I can't talk about Inside Baseball because you have to sign basically non-disclosures when you're part of these shows. But I've been part of gun shows that were produced uh, back when Sandy Hook happened, and they know the hottest shows on history and discovery. Hands down are stuff like Duck Dynasty, uh, which is, of course, on A&E. I was also offered, and I know that some top folks are involved in it, in a show to replace Duck Dynasty. So, so they know that is... The top show on any channel, a and &E, I don't care what it is, you want popular, libertarian, constitutional, uh, you know, John Wayne, guns, rock and roll, freedom. It's, it, it's what America is. Everybody watches it. Black, white, Hispanic, liberal, conservative. And I know, and we're going to Ted Nugent here in a moment, but he just joined us. I know what he's saying is true because I have experienced it with a whole separate show that they wanted me to host. And I said... I think this will be canceled. I've seen it before. I'll be a guest, and if it gets picked up, then I'll be a regular on it because I'm too busy. And sure enough, they shot a TV show for one of these networks of high-powered guns, you name it, stuff blowing up, cars, jumping things. I mean, super exciting. And guess what? They didn't air it, even though it cost $4 million to film six episodes. 
Okay, so I'm giving you some inside baseball. I'm not going to say any more because I don't want to get sued. Now, Verizon TV drops the Sportsman Channel, their most popular channel. Uh, and Ted Nugent is exposing it. This is part of killing the culture. I have a London Telegraph article. The new James Bond is lectured uh, in the new novels and not this movie, but the next by women and, quote, gays the whole time. Well, I'm not against women and gays. The point is everything is a socialist brainwashing message now. And so if they can't beat you, they just shut you off. See, you, you don't get ratings, then become the top show. You get ratings, you get thrown off TV. Or you get SWAT teamed like Ted Nugent has when he does his shoots by local socialists. So I'm going to shut up now and give him the floor and skip this network break. I can't help it. Joining us is Ted Nugent to break down but, uh, some of this. But I wanted to give you some background here that I have experienced this and others I know have experienced it, that they don't want libertarian or pro-America messages or conservative messages on television, even though it's a big hit. Ted Nugent, am I accurate? Absolutely, Alex. I bring you uh, freedom-drenched and freedom-threatened greetings from the uh, beautiful hill country of Texas, and I'd just like to shout out loud and proud, Hillary for prison 2016. <laughs> Absolutely, brother. Yeah, you you did you get gave, gave a wonderful as always accurate background to uh, one of the issues. I mean, my God, uh, Alex, the the number of uh, freedom abusing, freedom destroying, fundamental transformation, abuse of power, and corruption, and fraud, and deceit, and anti Americanism that runs amok in this country from the president on down. It breaks the hearts of good Americans by the hour across this country. So the main point of my phone call today, obviously I'm high on elk meat right now because my son and I just got back from Colorado where I'm celebrating the natural instinct of the hunting season. But I have to earn that joy and that positive, that buoyancy, that American you know, we the people dream. I have to earn it by exposing the bad and the ugly, as you do every day, in order to celebrate as much good as possible. What what Verizon has done is they have taken the Sportsman's Channel that has more than three times, what I understand, many, many times the radiance of, shall we say, Al Jazeera. Boy, there's a real pro-American, pro-freedom voice if I ever squashed one. And Verizon has canceled Sportsman's Channel, which is just a pure, honest, down-to-earth, nature, God's creation celebration of the natural hunting season that uh, culminates with Thanksgiving, where hundreds of millions of Americans, they thank you, God, for your renewable pantry of life-sustaining wildlife protein. And obviously, there's, there's other natural resources, but... When Verizon cancels Sportsman's Channel, it's a direct result of the anti-gun, anti-freedom, anti-hunting, anti-wildlife, anti-science, anti-Americanism that has infested our media across this land. And I hope people will visit my Facebook, which, by the way, Alex, I mean, I'm just a goofy guitar player. I not only wrote Wango Tango, I actually believed it. <laughs> I, I set records with 33... Point six million Facebookers off and on for the last four months. Currently, I'm down to 22 million Facebookers. But the point is, is that what Alex Jones, what, what you represent, what working hard, playing hard Americans represent, what the great Carl Pittman represents, what the NRA represents, what Ted Nugent represents, isn't individual presumptions or hunches. It's self-evident truth. And it's alive and well across this country. So if people want to celebrate self-evident truth, logic, common sense, science, irrefutable evidence, they should visit my, my website, tednugent.com, and certainly my Facebook, which I'm on in between every morning and afternoon hunting uh, adventure. And I communicate with people that are not just like-minded with me. They're like-minded with truth. They're like-minded that, that America's fundamental transformation is an engineered train wreck of the only experiment in self-government in the history of the world. And what Verizon has done by canceling Sportsman's Channel is they've just given the toxic middle finger of communism, anti-Americanism, 
to the conservation communities and the conservation families of this country. And it's another example of you can keep your doctor if you want to. Uh, what difference does it make that four Americans were killed because our government 